हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड डे एवरी वन वेलकम टू एडवोकेट बापू साहेब बोंडे हाई स्कूल टूडे वी विल सी सब्जेक्ट टी वी एस चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वॉटर एंड एयर वी विल सी रीडिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेसन पेज नंबर एटी फोर टू एटी सिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वॉटर एंड एयर वॉटर Water is necessary for us to live. We get water from rain, rivers, lakes, ponds, wells, springs, and seas. Rain is the main source of water. Let us understand the water cycle through four simple steps. First, the sun's heat evaporates the water from the seas, rivers, lakes, oceans, and plants the water rises up in the air in the form of water vapors the second the water vapor rises higher in the air and cools down it condenses into water droplets forming clouds in the sky third when too much water gets collected in the clouds they get heavier and fall back to the earth in the form of rain fourth rain water seeps into the ground and flows back into water bodies like seas rivers oceans and lakes this is called the water cycle rain water flows down the mountains as streams and rivers rivers are also formed when the snow on some mountains melts small rivers join to form a big river they flow down the mountains when the water flow down with a great speed waterfalls are formed at some places on the plains the rivers flow slowly and finally meet the sea river water is fresh and not salty it can be used for drinking after it is filtered and boiled sometimes rain water gets collected at one place this is called a pond big ponds are called lakes rivers flow into sea and oceans which are large water bodies oceans and seas have salty water rain water also seeps into the ground and gets collected underground this is called ground water this water can be used by digging wells we can also draw water from the bore wells by using hand pump Some rivers have water throughout the year. Canals are dug out along these rivers. Water flows through these canals into the distance filled. In cities and towns, water from lakes or rivers is supplied to the houses through pipelines. We get this water in our houses through the taps. The water we use for drinking and cooking should be clean and pure. We can clean water by boiling it or by using a filter. We should always keep drinking water covered. We should not pollute water by throwing rubbish and dirty things into wells, tanks and rivers. Water is very useful to us. We should not waste water. air the earth is surrounded by air we cannot see or touch air but we can feel air when it moves moving air is called wind we need air to live plants and animals to need air to live plants keep the air pure and clean we should grow more plants and trees 
to keep uh, the air clean clean air is good for our health so student i hope you understood this reading part of this lesson please do practice at home and read this lesson please subscribe our channel like and share and hit the bell icon thank you